Was it necessary to cut off the music? Huh. I wasn't expecting you to speak. A pleasure to meet you, Tadaomi Karasama. Reinforced tektite glass, I assume. Might as well be rice paper for all the good it does. Though they did use it on my suggestion. Came up while making small talk with the powers that be. One thing led to another, and well, when in Rome... <laughs> this may come as a shock, but I specifically requested you. Seems odd, seeing as we've never met. Are you sure you have the right guy? Karasuma. Approach this situation with an open mind. You, in fact, all of us are privileged. We're part of something beyond human comprehension. The matter of our vaporized moon that not even the Pentagon could cover up? This creature is responsible. It was a sedge. Just poof and voila. For what purpose? Call it a demonstration. To enable a dialogue, you see, one likes to be sure one's audience is paying attention. The UN's keyed into him, but they, uh, let's just say they have their limits. <laughs> That's putting it diplomatically. He has the ability to fly. His maximum speed is Mach 20. He can survive the vacuum of space. He's powerful. Enough so what he did to the moon took only seconds, if that. And where he comes from, we don't know. He's fluent in every existing language. His manners are impeccable. He has a notable sweet tooth. And I'm passionate about books. What the hell could you want from us? You're on a level all your own. After much thought, I've reached a decision. I intend to destroy planet Earth. It sounds more difficult than it really is. I could do it right away, but where's the fun in that? I prefer to make it a game. So I'm giving you until next March to stop me. Roughly one calendar year from now. So either we kill you, or you blow up the Earth like you did the moon? Precisely. And I agree to neither run nor hide in the meantime. In fact, why don't I spend the year teaching Class 3E at Japan's famed Kanugi Gaoka Junior High? You expect us to let ch- not to defy orders, sir, but to be honest, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Our hands are tied, Kurosama. He can't be reined in. We've no choice but to accept his terms. So the game started already? Indeed. And since you're clearly a man less persuaded by talk than by the good old-fashioned hands-on approach, let's take care of you right now! <laughs> You're giving us a year! <laughs> What's the significance there? Ah, well, after taking as many variables as possible into account, that seems the most reasonable time frame for everyone involved. For you, you mean? It's a fair compromise. <laughs> dear, oh dear, you really aren't a fan of Nietzsche. Hey, are you messing with us? I meant no disrespect, let me assure you. <sighs> <laughs> But as you can see, one must think outside the box if they plan on assassinating me. <laughs> now then, let us journey to Japan together and mold young minds! Tadaomi Karasaba! Wait a minute. This was a test? <laughs> and you passed. I can't remember the last time someone's gotten into my head like that. And as humans go, I must say, you're not half bad. 
<laughs> I'm happy to say those little rugrats in class 3 e are going to have one hell of a homeroom teacher. <laughs> and a handsome son of a gun at that. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it back in. <laughs> and that is how your esteemed Mr. Kurosama and I became colleagues. No offense or anything, Koro Sensei, but that seems a little hard to believe. Kind of feels like you were just trying to make yourself look cool. Oh, I was very different back then, believe me. If provoked, I showed absolutely no mercy. That's enough. Quit filling their heads with lies. <laughs> you were already in Japan when we met. Yo, sup, octopus. Uh-huh. See? I knew you were never that cool. Right? What is that supposed to mean? Uh, okay. Try this one on for size. <clears throat> U.S. military discovered me frozen in a glacier dating back to the Paleozoic era. Uh, oh, yes, I almost forgot. It helps the story if you imagine Brad Pitt narrating. Don't believe a word he says. 